edition trot number one is Meadow A Go Go, all by FS Star Stables and Andrew Herzog with Jim Morrill Jr. Number two, Seafood Kid, best is yet to come stables, Luke Wallet. Number three, Flying Standby, all by Karen Williams, driven by Steve Smith. Number four, White House Scandal, Barbara Bongiorno and Linda Condon with Ron Pierce. Number five, Richard Hallahan's River of Glory, and she's driven by Mickey McNichol. Number six, Keneal Bay, all by the Joseph Lacombe Stables Incorporated with Mike Lachance. Number seven, SOS Ferron, all by Jeff and John O'Donnell, Dave Miller. Number eight, the Redemption Stables, Experience Victory with John Campbell. Number nine, Triple T Sovereign, all by Martin Sharp with Eric Ledford. And number 10 is K-Line, all by Jim Patricelli. Ray Remen is in the sulky. That's the field for the 11th race. Final field sent on their way, and Keneal Bay trots out for the front. Experience victory from the outside. Flying standby flashes some speed. K-Line's going to be caught wide early as the field moves on to the turn. Toward the inside, looking to move up as Seafood Kid. He's now trotting up into third. Experience victory off stride. Experience victory has gone on a break there, and K-Line also off stride in the opening turn. Triple T Sovereign is fifth. He's parked out. Racing in sixth is River of Glory, the only mayor in the field, followed up by SOS Ferron from seventh, opening quarter, 28 and three. Meadow Agogo is eighth, experience victory on the gallop, and K-Line finally sets, but he's trailing the field as they head down the backstretch, so that leaves flying standby on a length and a half lead. Keneal Bay is up into the bit, hard held there in the pocket in second. Triple T, Sabarin, parked and pressing, and he's moving up on the outside, a tighter third, two and a half from the lead. Seafood Kid trapped in on the inside. River of Glory picks up second over cover. She's well spotted there. And third over is White House Scandal as they reach the half 58 and 1. A 29 and 3 second quarter breather for a well rated flying standby. Up on the outside, third over as the field moves around the turn. White House Scandal, SOS Ferron to his inside, locked in seventh. Racing in eighth is Meadow Agogo as they trot toward three quarters, and it's still flying standby, who's a length in front. Looking three wide is River of Glory. Keneal Bay has had a perfect pocket trip, and Lachance edges him to the outside. Up the rail is Seafood Kid, third, three quarters, 127 and four, and they're at the top of the stretch, and flying standby is digging in, but Keneal Bay had the better trip, and he trots right past to grab the lead, and it is Keneal Bay who's drawing clear. Flying standby is racing in second. SOS Ferron is third from Seafood Kid. As they trot down to the finish, it will be Keneal Bay. Mike Lachance scores again. Keneal Bay wins. Flying standby second. SOS Ferron third. Tight for fourth between Meadow Agogo -Go and Seafood Kid. 155 and four. Results official, back-to-back -back wins tonight for Mike Lachance as Keneal Bay takes the 11th race. He's a pine chip four-year-old gelding out of Hildy Hanover by Speedy Crown, all by the Joseph Lacombe Stables Incorporated of West Palm Beach, Florida. Of course, Mr. Lacombe campaigned the thoroughbred horse of the year, favorite trick from a few years ago, Jordan Myers, the trainer. $4,335.65. Nobody had the superfecta we're paying on 637 all, and that pays $3,862.50.